I've been doing. Peekaboo. Anyways, it's fall and the leaves are falling. And my trailer's full of leaves and I've been raking lots of leaves. When I'm done with all my trees, I average get about 3,500 pounds of leaves. That's a hell of a lot of work. The next thing I've been doing is cutting firewood for the winter. I heat part of my house with firewood, I heat my shop with firewood, and I heat my farm with firewood. This is just a very small quantity. I've cut a huge quantity at the farm, and since I give free firewood away to all my friends and anybody who wants it, I've been helping them with the firewood too, picking it up with the tractor, sharpening the chainsaws, and using my chainsaws also. If anybody lives in the London area, or the Lucan area of Ontario, and they want free firewood, already dry and ready to burn, standing, it's elm and it's hickory. Those are two great smelling, great heating firewoods. I have unlimited supply. You can take as many tons as you want over and over again for free. Just contact me. And I've been fixing cars and stuff like that too. That takes up a lot of time. I've been doing general fall maintenance all around my whole property and especially the farm. Cleaning up fallen down trees, putting away all those air conditioners I processed, taking scrap metal to the scrap yard. This, this last two months has been a never ending battle to get ready for winter. Most people don't realize that I have like three jobs. One is fixing things at my shop right here that I just showed you. When I get that stuff done, then I have time to go to the farm and do my maintenance and do my videos and do my stuff out there. Then my third job is when I come home from the farm when it's getting dark in the evening, like around 6, then I hop in my van and do service calls all over the city of London. I fix furnaces, central air, washers, dryers, fridges, stoves, microwaves, all that kind of stuff. And I usually do that to between 8 and 9 at night. Well then when I get done, then I decide if I want to have dinner if I'm too tired or not. So that's my life. This is one of my kitties I had to take back from Pat. Pat found out he's allergic to kittens and cats and whatever so nobody would take him so I took my baby back he was born March 4th of this year and if you look at my older videos you'll get to see what he used to look like now the lowdown on Wolf I believe Wolf is just fine the people have actually sold that farm and moved away that's the problem why we haven't seen him anymore so once winter passes I love cats. I'm going to bring some cats out to the farm and they'll live there. I couldn't do that before because Wolf killed any cat on sight. That sucks. And since now it's November and October was just last week, most of our weekends have been cold at the farm and often very wet and raining. So that makes less people come out because who wants to have fun outside when all that crap is happening with the weather. So with less actors, unpaid of course, less videos. Ugh. But this winter I'm going to start making a whole bunch of different kind of repair videos. I know how to repair just about anything. So I know you and everyone else will learn a lot. Say hi Pat. <laughs>